Welcome to Fear on Four. In far distant lands I've never visited, and never want to visit, workers in steamy forests and oven-like compounds go about their business. I look into my screen, make a lightning decision, tap my keyboard and their lives are changed. Not necessarily for the better. Net Suicide by Stephen Wyatt Mikey, how's it going? It's going great, Bob. Record profits again? <laughs> Wish I knew how you did it, Ken. Oh, you know the answer. Quick thinking and a run of good luck. Yeah, there's more to it than that. <sighs> Is there? Well, they don't call you the king for nothing, do they? Don't give you your own office with all this gear, either. Sure. You're special, king. My colleagues in Grand Global Securities always call me the king. And, like Bob, they all think they'd like to know my secret. But they wouldn't. Because, you see, dear diary, I deal in futures. But I don't have one. Oh, come on now. Don't play up on me. Uh, now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Each night I have this nightmare. Well, I try to knock myself out with pills and booze, but I still have the same dream. The end is coming. There's no escape. God knows what I say in my sleep. God knows what Celia hears. That's right, Mikey. Keep at it. Just got in, Roy. Ho, ho. Just because everybody doesn't work as long as you doesn't mean execs sit on their bottoms all day. Still, I've just been checking through the agency accounts pre-audit. Nice work. Thanks. Oh, things are sizzling, in fact. Can't be bad for your promotion prospects. Yeah, I've heard that one before. I'm serious. The men at the top are taking notice. How about supper sometime? My Judy's always talking about this new Japanese nursery they built in the crypt of some old city church, St. Sushi's or some such name. Why not bring Celia and we'll make a night of it? Thanks. Oh, don't sound too enthusiastic. All work and no play. Roy, spare me the pep talks. <laughs> Fine, but don't forget, on the firm. Besides, it'd be great to see Celia again. Lovely girl. You're a lucky man, Mikey. Oh, and uh, keep up the good work. I just keep thinking, what are they going to do when they find out about the end game account? Six months ago, North Korean zinc futures were looking good, so I bought some. Then the prices started to fall, so I bought some more. If I doubled up, I figured I was bound to compensate for my loss. But North Korean zinc futures just kept falling, and I kept buying. I couldn't stop myself. With my track record, it had to come out right in the end. So, dear diary... Tucked away in the end game account are virtually all the shares in North Korean zinc futures ever issued. Millions of pounds of them. And still no sign of an upturn in the market. Time is now running out. The auditors are due in a couple of weeks. And I don't see how I can possibly pull the wool over their eyes. Ironic, really. The company worries all the time about exposure. Well, I've brought them more exposure than a nudist colony in the middle of the Sahara. Must remember to tell Celia we're invited to supper. That really is bloody typical, Michael. It really I is. I don't understand. No, you don't, do you? That's what's so awful. Months go by and we have no social life whatsoever. And then I'm supposed to be pleased because we might get to have supper with your slimy boss and his How ghastly you say wife. Roy was slimy. Well, probably because it's not your cleavage. He looks down. Oh, come on, Michael. Get a life. I can't remember when we last had a good time. I can't remember when you were last home early. I can't even remember the last time we had sex. It's not always going to be like this. That's what you always say, Michael, and I always believe you. It's a means to an end, but it isn't. You're shacked up with that computer terminal, not me. And I can't take it anymore. I really can't. Celia's gone. Packed her bags and gone. I don't know where. I've not told anybody, of course. I just suggested to Roy that maybe we ought to put St. Sushi's on hold. Oh, not again. What is all this? Come on, please. North Korean zinc has gone through the floor this morning. I can't see it ever coming up again. The auditors come in next Monday. So, 
For the nightmare is coming true. The king has no clothes, no girlfriend and no prospects. The sharks are gathering. Oh, they know, Bob and the rest. Though they don't know they know. The smell of failure is one their noses are trained to pick up. And as for the big boys, three tiers above Roy, when they finally stop being impressed by the prophets and see what's really going on... Oh, I cannot believe this. First Celia, then North Korean zinc, and now my bloody computer's on the blink. World-weary, depressed... Sorry? Desperate, beyond hope, at the end of your tether. Look, what is all this? The net offers you many services, but none quite as unique or quite as enticing as the Suicide Club. If this is somebody's idea of a joke, I am stuffed. A computer virus is all I need just now. Welcome back to the Suicide Club. This is not funny. To proceed... Please tap in your name. You know you're curious. And what have you to lose? Is this for real? Just tap in your name, and you'll find out. <sighs> okay. Well, Michael Scant Grace, pleased to meet you. Does life seem pretty hopeless just now? Yes. Does there seem no way out? Yes. Would you seriously think of killing yourself if you knew a simple and pleasant way of doing it? Come on. You can tell us, Michael. All right. Yes. Now we are getting somewhere. The Suicide Club has been created especially for people like you, Michael. No messy pills or shotguns or car fumes for you. Just a simple, painless death, provided just when you least expect it. If you're half in love with easeful death, you'll love death our way. Oh, this is ridiculous. Remember, Michael, you found us. You must want us. Complete the following questions. Do you face personal and or financial ruin? Yes. Is there anybody you can turn to in the crisis? No. Can you think of any other way out? No. Can you all imagine right, life? All right, all right. <laughs> you win. Then it's really very simple, Michael. Just think of all the agony you'll save yourself, Michael. In today's busy world, people simply don't have time to make these decisions for themselves. Now it's simple. One big yes, and you'll never need to worry about ending it all again. Okay. I think this is crazy. But yes. Okay. I don't want to be here when Bob starts jeering and Roy says I told you so to anybody who'll listen and Celia won't even bother to drop me a postcard because she'll be shacked up with some penniless hunk with all the time in the world for her. I don't want to have to spend every waking hour staring at this damned screen and every sleeping hour having nightmares about the mistakes I've made. I don't want to face another day in here watching all those expectant faces eagerly waiting for the king to fall. Yes, I admit it. I've had it. I'm out. Well, Michael, welcome to the Suicide Club. We'll be in touch, as they say. <laughs> Just a moment. Just a moment. I need confirmation in writing. Time to think it over. Stop! Did I really just do that? Or did I dream it? Hey, King. What? Did you have any exposure in North Korean zinc? Uh, no. Why? Thought you did. Look, I, I got out while the going was good. Ooh, pity. Bob, what is this all about? Well, I didn't know whether you'd seen. Seen what? There on your screen. A couple of big zinc mines in Ecuador have caved in. North Korean zinc futures quadrupled in value in the last hour. Prices are going through the roof. Pity you got shot of it all. Well, I'm not saying I got rid of all of yeah, it. Yeah, I knew it, you devious bastard. You knew this would happen all along, didn't you? If this is some kind of a joke, Bob... Say no joke, King. It's there in front of you. See? I don't understand. Why didn't you tell us? Well, you knew the account was there, Roy. But we'd no idea what was in it. We thought it was just a simple error account. You've been playing a deep game, Mike. You think so? I know so. You pulled off some coups in your time, but this has come right out of left field. So nobody's pissed off about it? Are you joking? You're really sure I've not screwed up? Is the Pope a Catholic? 
Mikey, if this doesn't get you promotion, I don't know what will. Did you hear that? What? Uh, that, that noise. Oh, I wouldn't worry. The whole system's been doing silly things all day. The service guys are coming in to fix it this afternoon. Come on, Mikey, let's celebrate. Yesterday was an extraordinary day. Everybody wanted to congratulate me. The king was re-crowned. And then ended up the evening in a wine bar on his own, with a piano tinkling in the background, because, well, something was bothering me. Maybe I should do something about that club or whatever it was. But I was still feeling so good. It didn't really matter. So I just carried on celebrating in my own way. Here you are, sir. Thanks, and uh, keep the change. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, that's good. And then there she was, sitting at the end of the bar. She was lovely. Not a classic beauty, maybe, but, yeah, lovely. Our eyes met. Hers were warm and friendly. I smiled. She hesitated, but then she smiled back. Won't you join me? I'm waiting for someone, so... Well, till they turn up, then. If they won't object. No, no, I doubt it. It's a woman friend, actually. Well, while you're waiting, help me finish this champagne. I'm not sure I should. Oh, you're perfectly safe. I give you my word. Then thank you. I will. As a matter of fact, I was just thinking how happy you looked. Is that unusual? <laughs> well, I'd say so, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's just that I've never thought of myself as a happy person. Here. This has to be a celebration. You could say that. I've had the most extraordinary piece of luck. Suddenly, my troubles are over. Cheers, then. I haven't seen you here before, have I? I thought that was supposed to be my line. <laughs> I'm a regular here. I work just round the corner. When's your friend due? Well, actually, about half an hour ago. Maybe she's got the wrong day. Or I have. Uh, you don't look the forgetful type. And how is the forgetful type supposed to look? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was a silly thing to say. Don't worry about it. Look. What? You're smiling to yourself again. Oh, am I? <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. I think it's rather charming. Uh, so, what sort of work do you do? Something rather dull in PR. And you? Oh, something much duller, I'm sure. I'm an accountant. Here's to dull jobs. Michael. Susanna. Pleased to meet you, Michael. I'm just knocked sideways. I'm gobsmacked. My heart's pounding. I can't get her out of my mind. We're meeting again tonight. I mean, I don't want to rush things, but after Celia, I thought I was finished. Meanwhile, North Korean zinc has continued to rise. I'm a hero. The whole system's working like a dream today. All that nonsense yesterday with that club. Weird, but... Well, some people have a funny sense of humour. Probably some jealous bastard out there who wanted to freak me out and put me off my stroke. Luckily, I have more important things to think about now. What are you drinking? I don't mind. Champagne? <laughs> what else? Barman, the usual. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Already it's the usual. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I haven't stopped thinking about you, actually. Nor me about you. So, what are we celebrating this time? Meeting each other last night. Sounds good to me. Look, I feel there's something I should tell you. You're married. No, no. Are you? Never. So? I'm not actually an accountant. <gasps> I'm shocked. I trade in securities, the futures market. Worse and worse. No, I want you to know because... It means you can afford the champagne? Well... Are you very successful? more successful than I ever imagined. Then here's to you. There is one other thing. No. No, it's not important. It can wait. You know, I just can't believe this. What? Being here with you. I'm sorry, but it feels so comfortable. I've never felt like this before. Haven't you? Look, I don't want to come across as some fake dewy-eyed virgin. I've had boyfriends, of course, but none I've ever wanted to get serious with. 
And? And? Well, maybe I'm making a fool of myself. But it's different with you. Even now when we hardly know each other. Oh, God, am I being embarrassing? No. No, it's wonderful. You don't think we're going too fast? We can't go too fast for me. There's no need to take me home. I'm old enough to face the dawn. Susanna. I can't believe my luck. <sighs> Me neither. Michael. What? I'm afraid I think I've fallen in love with you. Do you mind? What do you think? We decided on a quiet registry office too. Susanna said she wasn't keen on having her family along, and I was only too glad to have the excuse not to invite my own. Bob and Roy were the witnesses. I suppose I wanted to see their faces when they met Susanna. You jammy bastard, King. How'd you do it? I've told you before. Quick thinking and good luck. She's gorgeous. <laughs> and bright. And a really nice person. It's not fair. Oh. I don't deserve her. I do know that. It's no great consolation for the rest of us poor bastards, is it? We just get to salivate. <laughs> Bob? Yeah, scram, will you? Oh, OK. You're a lucky fellow, Mikey. All right, I get the picture. And I don't just mean Susanna, lovely though she is. Oh? A date to put in your diary, Mikey. The big guys want you to have lunch with them. And lunch doesn't just mean lunch, if you know what I mean. No. What does it mean? Oh, come on, Michael. You're a star. You knocked them dead with North Korean zinc, and every deal you've touched since then has just turned to gold. They love you to death, Mikey. In their eyes, you can do no wrong. Are you sure? Mikey, you've got it all now. Lovely bride, loads of dosh, and a great future. Did you hear that? Hear what? That noise from the computer. Oh, Mikey, I've told you before, computers make funny noises all the time. Why haven't you noticed? Well, they've got lives of their own. Well, let's not get poetic about this, Mikey. It's just odd. And that particular noise, it... What about it? I don't know, but it's odd. Now, can we please get back to reality? Promotion is definitely in the wind. They're about to make you an offer you cannot refuse. Look, I just don't know... Oh, I... come off it, Mikey. You're not trying to pretend you'd turn them down on the terms they'd offer. I might if You're I... joking! What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. Maybe things are just happening too fast. I need some time to think. And when are you going to do that? I do have a honeymoon booked. I don't think people usually spend their honeymoon thinking. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's not important. Oh, yes, it is. I can tell. Look, we're here. Let's just enjoy it. Is it Celia? No, of course not. I thought she might have been in touch. Well, no. Why should she be? It's all over. It'd be much better if you told me. I... I can't. Can't or won't? It's just that... Just before I met you, something extraordinary happened. I thought everything was over. Celia was gone. I'd screwed up badly at work. I felt so down that... That I even thought of... Killing myself. Oh, Michael, I'm sorry. I think I must have been very close. But then it turned out okay. That's the really weird thing. I, I never told you, but I had this account, the Endgame account, where I buried all my mistakes. I was convinced I'd be found out, but I wasn't. And they weren't mistakes, they made me. I've never told anyone this before. And that's really what's worrying you? Yeah. Even now you're such a success? Yes. But it's all in the past. Well, luck can change. Sure, but you've got me now. If things go wrong, I'll stick around, you know that. In the meantime, why not enjoy it? They've promised you what you want. Your own suite, your own system. You don't even have to go into the office. Make the most of it, Michael. And while you're at it, please make the most of me.
These days it doesn't matter what risks I take with the futures market. It always works out. Bob says I'm the emperor now, not the king. But then Bob always was a bit of a prat. But the apartment is perfect. And Susanna, well, she's fantastic. You'd never dream it could be so good. I just wish... Oh, it's silly, I know. I should be on top of the world. But I just can't stop thinking about death. When's it going to come? How's it going to come? I've tried suicide. I've tried club. I've, I've, I've tried life. Ending of... I've tried any number of different combinations of keys and codes. Again and again I've tried, but nothing. I don't know. Maybe I dreamt the whole thing. I just wish I could remember what I did. Michael. Yeah? Michael, it's late. Yeah, I know. Aren't you done yet? Uh, nearly. You seem to spend more time sitting in front of this thing than when you were at the office. It's different. <laughs> Is it? You won't be long, will you? No, I promise. Something's worrying you. Oh, usual work stuff, that's all. You're not sleeping well, are you? Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen and all that. You know, sometimes I think it's like a monster. What? That machine. You mean it seems alive? Maybe. No. 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 Michael. Michael, wake up. Wake up. Are you okay? I can't believe it. The nightmare's back. Oh, it made sense before. I knew it was all going to collapse. But this time, it's all going so well. I've got Susanna. I've got my sanity. It's very simple. If I can't find the suicide club, I just get out. I don't need all this. Mikey, listen. Have you read your contract? Do you think they set you up like this, paid you all this cash just so you can walk out when it suits you? But I'm going crazy here. Pull the other one, Mikey. You're as sane as I am. No, I am going crazy. I'm not sleeping. My blood pressure's up. I'm on medication from the doctor. My heart feels like it's bursting out of my body. This is bullshit. You can't weasel your way out of your contract with crap like this. But I'm no good to Grand Global. I'm going to screw up. I know I am. It's a nice try, Mikey. I don't know who's trying to poach you, but you're going to have to do better. Better than this. I am going nuts here. You make Grand Global money, Mikey. Lots of money. Those golden handcuffs really are golden. Roy, listen, I... <sighs> Roy's right. They'll never let me go. So, there's only one choice. Lay this doubt to rest once and for all. But I've tried every combination of keys... Every different sort of touch and speed. Better chase a needle in a haystack. Michael, what are you doing? I should have thought that was obvious. But this is the middle of the night. Uh, I couldn't sleep. Michael, this has got to stop. You're in trouble. It's written all over your face. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Tell I... me the truth. Oh, you'll think I'm crazy. It doesn't matter. But it does. Something very peculiar happened. When? Oh, a long time ago. Before I met you. It's to do with that. The computer. Yeah. Oh, you'll think I'm crazy. You see, Come I... on, show me. I may not be able to. Well, at least give it a try. No, no. I'm here. I'll help you. All right. But it's never worked before. So I don't see why it should work now. Don't worry about it. Just do whatever you did. You said it was like a monster. Like a monster. Not really a monster. Yeah, maybe you are right the first time. You really think so? Well, I can't control it. Try. There's no one else here. Try. <sighs> All right. This is as near as I can remember to what I did when... You see, 
There was this offer, and I took it up. I, I shouldn't have done, but, but I did. I don't believe it. First try. Good evening. I believe you wanted to contact us. Yes. You have a problem? Yes. Can you type in your details, please? What's happening? This is like it was before. I'm not imagining it, am I? No, you're not imagining it. Well, everything concerning your Suicide Club membership appears to be in order, Mr. Scout Grace. What exactly is your problem? I want to cancel. You can't do that. Why not? Because a deal is a deal. But I don't want to die. The Suicide Club always keeps its bargains. But you don't understand. I don't want to die. The Suicide Club always keeps its bargains. The suicide Club always keeps its Why did you do that? Because there's no need anymore. I don't understand. You've had a good time, haven't you, Michael? I'm sorry, I, I don't you understand. You certainly haven't seen it coming, have you? We've kept our bargain. Susanna, don't joke. This isn't a laughing matter. You don't mean this, do you? Oh, Susanna, please. No. 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 No! In Net Suicide by Stephen Wyatt, Michael was played by Gerard McDermott, Susanna by Tracy Ann Oberman, Roy by John Rowe, and Bob by David Brooks. Other parts were played by members of the cast. The director was David Hunter.